Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and Hammer Productions Night. Tonight I will be reviewing The Sword of Sherwood Forest, released in 1960. Sword of Sherwood Forest stars Richard Green, Peter Cushing, Niall McGuinness, Sarah Branch, Richard Pascoe, Jack Willem, Nigel Green, Vonda Godsell, Oliver Reed, Patrick Crean, Darren Nesbitt, and Desmond Llewellyn. Sword of Sherwood Forest was directed by Terence Fisher. Now, this project has no relations to the Men of Sherwood Forest, the previous Robin Hood film that Hammer had produced, which I reviewed last week on this channel. <clears throat> this one has more in common with the TV series, The Adventures of Robin Hood from 1955, in which Richard Green played the character of Robin Hood. He wanted to play the character in a feature after the series ended after its fourth season. And he went to Hammer and asked them if they would um, produce the film with him. And they came up with Sword of Sherwood Forest. This one is really interesting because of the casting. The casting is quite different than what Men of Sherwood Forest, whereas the Men of Sherwood Forest only had one actor that was even remotely a name, and that was Douglas Wilmer. This one, I mean, you have Richard Green, who's a great actor in his own right, who also has already played the character of Robin Hood prior to this in the television series. And you have the amazing Peter Cushing playing the Sheriff of Nottingham. I mean, <laughs> Niall McGuinness playing Friar Tuck. You have Richard Pascoe, who was incredible in The Gorgon and Rasputin, the Mad Monk. He plays the character of Edward, Earl of Newark. And then you have Jack Willem, who ended up going on to play Von Helsing in The Monster Squad. And he plays the Archbishop in this. And then you have Nigel Green, another amazing actor, playing Little John. Then, it doesn't stop there. You have freaking Oliver Reed playing Lord Melton in this. So, and then on top of it, um, in a fairly small role, you have Desmond Llewellyn playing a wounded fugitive in the film. And uh, fans of uh, James Bond will uh, recognize... Desmond Llewellyn immediately because he played Q. So this one has a bigger cast, more, much more well-known names, and plus it is directed by a great Hammer Horror director in Terrence Fisher. Now before I get into my review on this one, I want to mention that um, I mentioned that Douglas Wilmer was the only big name in that one. Well, it's funny that he played Nayland Smith in Brides of Fu Manchu and Vengeance of Fu Manchu. But in this film, we have Richard Green and Nigel Green. No relation. <laughs> um... 
playing in this, and Nigel Green had played Nayland Smith in Face of Fu Manchu, the first of the Fu Manchu movies with Christopher Lee, and then Richard Green had played in the last two films as Nalen Smith, Blood of Fu Manchu and Castle of Fu Manchu. So it is funny that these first two um, Robin Hood films that Hammer did, they cast the three actors that played Nalen Smith in those Fu Manchu movies. Now, onto this movie. This is an incredible retelling of the Robin Hood story. Um, you have Richard Green is a really good, um, charismatic presence as uh, Robin Hood. The only thing I don't really like about him, and I never liked that about him on the television series, is that he doesn't have any mustache or little goatee or anything, which is sort of a trademark of the character. So him not it being completely clean shaven um, in this role always, it always, I mean, he, he gives a fine performance, but uh, he just doesn't fully have the look of that I expect from Robin Hood. And then you have Peter Cushing as the Sheriff of Nottingham. And, God, this is just amazing. Having the great Peter Cushing playing the Sheriff of Nottingham in here. I mean, any scenes he's in with uh, Richard Green, no, no offense to Richard Green, but any scenes he's in with him, Peter Cushing steals the show. Um, he, and he scenes he's in with, as the Sheriff of Nottingham, he steals the show. He is quite incredible in here. He is so charismatic and so good in this role that uh, even though he is the villain, you still love watching his performance. And... I guess it's that way with any of the Sheriff of Nottingham's. I mean, you had it with uh, Basil Rathbone in The Adventures of Robin Hood with Errol Flynn. And then you had it with Alvin Rickman with uh, Prince of Thieves with uh, Kevin Costner. But yeah, um, if you have only known Peter Cushing from his role of Grand Moff Tarkin in Star Wars... Do yourself a favor and please <laughs> search out any of the Hammer films or even the Amicus films that Peter Cushing did throughout his illustrious career because this man deserves a lot more accolades than he ever got. Um... And then you have uh, Niall McGuinness as Friar Tuck. He is a very interesting Friar Tuck because he is the standard Friar Tuck that you would expect. He's all about food. He's all about, you know, um, wanting to eat um, like most Friar Tucks you'd see in them. So he's, unlike the Friar Tuck in The Men of Sherwood Forest, who was more a kick-ass sidekick to Robin Hood. In this one, he's more just the traditional style of Friar Tuck. And in this one, we do have a Maid Marian, Sarah Branch, lovely young actress, who didn't play in that many films, unfortunately, which is a shame because she is really good in this, plays the Maid Marian. Her introduction in this is the obligatory um, naked in a uh, pond um, introduction to the character that we've seen numerous times in the Robin Hood stories. Um, and uh, she's just great in this film. 
um, she, she can bring out the um, intenseness for the performance to where she's tough as Marion. Just a minute. Keep your distance, outlaw. Well, at least I'm not afraid of the name, nor to tell you mine. Robin Hood at your service. And she's also the tender moments, such as uh, when she finds um, uh, Martin of Eastwood is dying. He's been shot with an arrow by um, the Sheriff of Nottingham's men. Path starts behind it. And uh, she stays with him um, until Robin Hood gets there. No, it's Marion. Marion Fitzwalter. So I wanted to see you again, Lucy. And everything, and she is so good in this sequence. Um, it's a shame she didn't do more than this and a few other films in her career. Then you have Richard Pascoe. I mean, he is incredible in this as Edward. I mean, he, much like um, Peter Cushing steals the show from Richard Green. Richard Pascoe, in any scenes he's in with Richard Green, he does the same. You, see this man mounted on your other horse. Can you ride? Well enough. Excellent. Goodbye, Father, and thank you for our drinks. And, of course, Nigel Green is a great little John in this. Great actor, great character actor. Um, really, really interesting in the role of little John. I really liked his performance in this, in the role. And then we have Oliver Reed as Lord Melton, who is incredible in this. I mean, this is one of his first films alongside um, the two faces of Dr. Jekyll, and he is really good in this thing. Um, I believe his voice was dubbed, possibly, um, but you still get that intense performance with his eyes, his face, and everything, the way, he, you know, the mannerisms. So even if he is dubbed in this, it's not hurting his performance overall as an actor because he is still able to perform. You insolent dog! Melton, put away your sword. Put away your sword. It was an accident, I'm sure, my lord Newark. And I'm sure it was not. And you know he insulted me. Enough. You provoked him. And uh, if, if you have not seen this film, go seek it out right now and find it, because I am about to do a bit of a spoiler in this. <clears throat> there was a shock in this one. Now, I, I mentioned in Men of Sherwood Forest how um, Douglas Wilmer's character was turned into a villain um, near the end. And it, and it didn't surprise me because he was dressed basically like the Sheriff of Nottingham. Well, in this one, um, Peter Cushing gathers together with Richard Pascoe's Edward, and they're trying to pursue Robin Hood. And they're, and they're attempting to kill the Archbishop, played by Jack Willem. And the biggest shock of all, um, Sheriff of Nottingham objects to the way they want to go after the Archbishop. He considers the way they're wanting to pursue this as not honorable. This is not the way we want to go about this. And shockingly, Oliver Reed's Lord Melton comes up behind him. Listen no more! I've done with you! Coward! <laughs> multiple times and kills him. But what use is a kingdom to you if you kill your friends? <laughs> so 
So from the beginning of this film, you are full on expecting to see Peter Cushing in a final showdown, Sheriff of Nottingham versus Robin Hood. And you don't get it. They pull the rug out from under you and kill the Sheriff of Nottingham off. And it is Richard Pascal's Edward who is the main villain who ends up fighting against Robin Hood and the Archbishop in the final moments of this film. On the fight scenes, they are really well uh, choreographed and well done. Um, so, I mean, th this overall, this production value on this one, not only is the acting better in this one, but, you know, Terrence Fisher makes it more of a big, um, lavish film and everything over Men of Sherwood Forest, which was more a um, lower budgeted affair. Um, so this one definitely um, ups the ante in it and makes it a bigger production. So, in closing, um, my final review of Sword of Sherwood Forest, 1960. I give this film a 9.5 out of 10. This film is one of the better Robin Hood films and uh, has one of the most shocking twists that I've ever seen in a Robin Hood film with the Sheriff of Nottingham scene that I mentioned. Um, so, if you have not seen this film, and <laughs> seek it out now. Have you seen this film, though? Has my review made you want to see this film? Let me know in the comments down below. And, uh, as usual, if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, because it really does help this channel out a lot. But that's it for Hammer Productions Night. Hope you will join me tomorrow as we move on to Action Movie Night. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.